Hello everybody, this is Sokin, welcome back to a new Let's Play video with Sacred Gold. And while I'm recording this one, I might get some sand under my sandals. <laughs> I mean, in my sandals. And I'm wearing boots, so I will get some sand in my boots. Which, when I was a kid, it was freaking annoying. And yeah, we're gonna complete this quest, Merry and Nightmare. What the fuck are those? What are those? Uh, excuse me? I wanna enter, you know? Um, what the fuck, Western? What the f What is this? Okay. We're gonna cast this here. And we are ready to level up soon. Soon enough, at least. And this thing. I don't even know what it, what it is, to be fair. And, uh... I really see that... This thing... Oh, mm -mm. Here comes the big boy. Okay, so... With this, I get the major resistance. Uh... Just let me... Uh... Oh, it's already low. Um... Six, that seven. I guess they're the same. I'm just gonna go leave that alone. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna touch it. And I don't even know what I'm having in my into my inventory. Uh, but uh, well, as I can see, the Easter egg is not present here. Um, and the Easter egg that I was. Um, trying to get is that I mean when I was, I was exploring with my Seraphim I wasn't really you know uh, oh, you're already expecting here. to find something interesting here not like it's not that interesting or something but uh, not that important uh, so basically what I found out is that okay so I was roaming with the Seraphim I rescued the Seraphim in that uh, dungeon in Bellevue which was around now oh yeah which was around here and as you can see we uh, we have been there and we freed her and uh, I think it happens only when you play with the Seraphim that if you go again at that spot I don't know if the same Seraphim but it's gonna be a Seraphim that will be ready to die and she will drop a uh, sword and then a uh, book and oh yeah you're talking shit when you're dead and in the book the book was called the book of the seraphim of course and guess what was on in it it was something uh, like a scientist or something was uh, making tests on subjects uh, to like use powers I mean he described them as being mystically I don't know powerful enough to cast spells and resist and that she or he would make sooner or later a bunch of them to protect their cause or something and when uh, when the, the Seraphim actually dies, she says something like Sister, this is all a lie or something. And then boom, you get the information in the, in the book. And when I saw it first, I was like Okay, so what the fuck was that? And when I read it again And uh, I've uh, read, read what the Seraphim was saying again Then I saw the truth and in fact, this is a major plot twist because if you are taking it like that, the Seraphims are not, you know, the uh, guardians of God, and there might be no God. So now it only depends how you want to took it. I mean, how you want to take it, not took it, because it's not that the. What the fuck am I saying now? But, you know, it's something to think about. Maybe some, uh, you know, secret or something that has been put 
intentionally in, into the game that God uh, doesn't is exist or something. I mean, it's really a good twist and a good, uh, you know, uh, theory. I mean, now it depends how you will take it. I mean, you can take it like into two ways one that there is no god I can stand all in real life or even I into the game and the seraphims are just made by other people and they are being brainwashed or something controlled to like pretend to be or at least make uh, them uh, think that they are saving god when they are just like some marionettes that are you know Guardian guarding something. I'll return with pleasure. I have seen many strange things here under the far as the eye can see. Such hordes of undead might also explain why the orcs, ogres, and goblins are so restive. Well, the camp is calling. I can find my own way for whatever and good luck. I mean, I can't see how the hell you will find your own way back since you're just a soldier against hordes and hordes of undead. And by the way, those hordes of undead. Some of them might be your comrades that have fallen before you, so... Uh, oh yeah, thank you. Yeah, nice twist, don't die when I really need you. Just take a nap, thank you. You're so helpful right now. Jesus Christ. We can't find people to... Okay, so this one will die now. At least we are getting some runes. That's the only good thing. Because now we are uh, uh, getting green things, but guess what? They are for the wood elf. Because why the hell not? So I'm here and I gotta go there. Oh. And then another dragon will come to play with us. It's the cousin of those two dragons from. Uh, what is this called? <sighs> Salt air. Tir Hadar. So yeah. His cousin. Oh, when zombies came into place. <laughs> so, yeah, yesterday I, I've actually recorded two episodes of Sacred, one after another. And, uh, you know, I was ready to get into my bed and sleep and start another day. I mean, finish a day and then start another. But guess what? I was just leaning in my, into my bed. Oh, fucking, I was dying. Nice, thank you. Thank you, Heal. Thank you, you're so helpful. You're so fast. I really can, uh, you know, um, trust you. And what do we got here? Ser oh, Seraphim. Oh, this is good for an. Oh, yeah. Good for fucking mess up. Uh, okay, so. I laid into my bed, I was just watching the window, I mean, yeah, I was watching on, yeah, I said it correctly, and I was just staying, and I've, uh, took a peek at the block that's right in front of my window, and I saw someone at the 10th floor, that was like, uh, I don't know how to explain it, he was standing with his bed, I mean, he had his back at the window and he was moving, you know. At first I thought that he was gonna suicide or something. So I just, you know, stared at him for some minutes. But he didn't, he was Die. not doing anything. And there was another person in the room with, it, with him. But it is strange how, you know, he was moving in front of a freaking window at 1 a.m. in the morning. Nomad Noor. What has happened um, here? excuse me? Hey, I've casted this for you. Okay, so I think this one, these black dudes are the most powerful uh, undead creatures. Because they have the... Oh yeah, I missed the spell. Yeah, wish me all the best. Oh, I freaking hate archers. 
And you know that man who was standing or girl who was standing in front of the window. You know it was very strange because uh, you know I usually tend to like stare on the window sometimes too but not in that way because I'm actually you know watching the window and not uh, facing myself towards it. I mean with my back towards it. So okay so this man is dead. I have seen a beast from here running towards me. It roared and jumped over me. Then the ground moved around me and saw their skeleton and zombies rose from their graves. I do not know in which battle they once fought, but I know one thing. What fate has decided for me. The zombie has beaten me. Death is coming closer and my comrades find me. I hope they will kill me quickly. Oh, oh, oh! What? What? No, fuck this man! You see what I see? Weston is dead? Okay, it's his sword and his shield. Oh my god, he died! Oh, what the fuck? And I still. I <laughs> it's funny how this quest is still open here and. <laughs> Uh, so I guess that we will be on our own from now on. First Wilbur decides to leave us, and now Weston. Well, I heard something on the forums that they can really die forever if they're if they get hit by an uh, how it is called an open wounds hit or a critical hit or something or even poison. It works with poison too. So the desert and the area behind the... Uh, I mean, the area behind the... Uh, not behind! The area of the, the Dark Elves are the most, uh, you know... Most likely for your companions to die. I mean, when it comes to those who can resurrect themselves. Because they are apart from the story. But I've seen some ugly bugs too when... Uh, when they were trying to escort some characters from the game and uh, they will just die and they will get stuck with the story because that character that was following them and he needed to be escorted needed to open a portal or something and then boom no more portals because you know dead which sucks if you are thinking about it just imagine playing and then boom no more comrades and bye bye quest and bye bye main story and welcome repeating the story and the, your character I mean you, you can just export it and you know but why do I know ok so we got our orc warrior rings we just gonna get them back to orc hater because this is what uh, he is an orc hater and now here's another pack which will get destroyed I mean if I think better this pack of orcs are dealing more damage than the dragons have dealt I mean those two dragons especially because the first two ones actually managed to kill us like twice but these two ones I don't know if the magic resistance helped us but I think not because the the dragons are not using all the magic and just die already. So yeah, so we failed like two times in this video. Once when I tried to get that uh, seraphim thing, and uh, another one when Weston died. I didn't even notice, to be fair, at first when he died. I mean, I know he died once, but I didn't know that he died, you know, for real. Interesting. Okay, so here's some... Uh, I really hate it when there's just one more alive. Okay, now he's dead. 
Okay, so there's no pack here. I thought that I seen a pack here, so that's the reason of why I went this way. I don't want to go here for the moment. I'm just gonna... Okay. So still nothing. Oh, here's a pack. And run and round. A bet on me flew around my room before you came. Oh, so the pack is this way. I don't even know if I said correctly. A pack. Maybe they're just a group. Or. May yeah, maybe they're just a group of, you know, orcs that are. Are trying to play football into their field, and they only have the weapons for the undead in case of emergency when they attack because they are a bunch of. Oh yeah, you can't carry anymore. Oh fucking shit! Are you kidding me? Oh yeah, damage. A lot of damage. Okay, so one of those are dead. Of those goblins, big Die. goblins, ugly fox. If you ask me, just take the Looks freaking. Like um, yes. If you turn, if you lean your head towards the right, and then you, hmm, yeah, you really like like a mule, or like a donkey that carries stuff around the mountains. You know that thing. Okay, now I missed my spell. Oh no 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 no! I got them. Oh yeah, you're gonna get burned. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you're gonna get so burned. Mm -hmm. Do I look like a mule? Yes. Why do you keep on asking that? You can't even hear me. So fuck you. I mean, not fuck you because you are my character and I gotta love you. Okay. Nope. Don't take any shit from the internet because they suck. Okay. Mental regeneration, constitution. I think I get. I will get constitution to level 30 and then just upgrade it when it gets ugly. I missed my spell. What a surprise. And now, yes, he's dead finally. I can heal myself up. And now we can check this one and this one. So, you know, I, s I already see that this one sucks. So, fuck you. And then, regeneration spell is 90%, 64 defense, magic spell. Endurance. Hmm. This 598, and with this one, mm, 6.9. Mm, I'm gonna keep this one because I really want to change this. I have it for a long time, and I'm starting to. I mean, the level of an item and uh, such are not that important if it has good bonuses so yeah oh my god these guys are not dying and there are two elites in one pack I'm just gonna say pack because they are kinda animalic and you know I'm just being racist right now This one will I because yeah. oh yeah and by the way uh, yesterday when I finished the episode I was just uh, you know uh, all tabbing waiting for my video to save and then the magic happened I freaking died yeah right when I was trying to get that uh, survival bonus working 
and efficient, my character just decided, oh, let me just die while we are AFK. Okay, so nothing good. And we finally ar arrived at the camp. And they seem to struggle with some... <laughs> with some... <laughs> what are those? Oh yeah. Why do you even... What the... F I don't get it why they're standing... Outside the city. They are just getting killed very easily, like that. And boom. Oh, and he's still alive. Oh, and he's still alive, guess what? Oh, and he, oh. He won't shatter that poor man. Poor man. Oh, I, <laughs> I missed my spell here. I hope that no one saw that. Yeah, yeah, keep on hitting me. Oh fuck! <laughs> they they were close to kill me, though. And I missed the spell. What a fuck, fucking, fucking, what the? What a freaking surprise! Interesting architecture. I wonder Thank whether you. I can get the same architect to build my own tower. Your tower? What tower? You haven't told us nothing about their tower. So, Orson Ogre's wondering about underwork in the lands. What is happening? You're all very sure about this. I will prepare a dispatch and thank you. I'm just gonna rush very fast towards the quests because uh, we are running out of time. Oh, Cycle of Fear. I really don't need that spell. And I like how there are no horses left. Well done, you have seen and reduced the number of this wild beast. This is not good. I just killed like nine orcs. How is that even efficient so yeah this is it um leave a like if you like my video dislike it if you didn't like it if you really want to support me get subscribed and see my other shit and uh yeah i'll see you next time so good luck